WordPress tutorial. So today we're going to be specifically looking at video backgrounds and in the Divi theme builder. So what we're going to do, let's go into the visual builder. So I'm on my home page and we have this blue background, which is okay, but it's not that great. So we can go into the section and then you can see the background. We can see we've got the blue background. So let's delete that and let's add a video background. So I've just got some random uh, cafe videos from a, a free video website. Um, and we can see that they're 22 megabytes, which is way too long. Uh, way too big, sorry. So if we were using this in production, we would make these smaller. We would um, remove the audio from them and we would also, we'd also compress them a little bit um, and to find that, you know, that ratio of compression to usability and, and how it looks on the screen kind of thing. So that's too big, but because this is in production, we're just gonna use this for now because I'm not gonna compress them. So we can upload that video and in one second, we'll see that it should pop on eventually. Uh, and then these will be, I had to do a run of this before, so these will be already filled. Um, so it should pop up soon. So you have to then put in the video width. So find out what your video width and height are. So this is 1920 by 1080 and there we go, it's popped in now. Already, so a few things to think about with your background videos. One, make them you know small enough that it can be viewed on, say, if someone's on a train or, or something like that, or bad internet. Fortunately, I have good internet here, but not everyone does. And then when you're filming them, we have to remember that on an iPad or a tablet, you're going to have more of a restricted screen, and then on a phone, it's going to be even more restricted. So at the moment, it looks like the coffee, you know, the group head is um, in the center, but you basically want to keep whatever the focus is centered at all times uh, for that phone view. So this one seems to be all right because it is centered uh, in the middle. So that seems to not be too bad. So let's go back to the desktop view. Now, the only problem I'm having is that I can't really see the text because of the because of the highlights back here. So if we're going to design heading text, we can change it to black and it doesn't look too bad, but I think I think we should put an opacity over the video background. That's what I do sometimes. So if we go back into the section settings, we're going to advanced and custom CSS. And this has to go in the before section. So I've got this pasted. Um, and you can, you can get this from the video description. Um, it's just a small, small block of, of code. And basically what it does is it puts an opacity layer on top. So at the moment, that's at 30%. So if I change this number to one, it's nothing. And if I change it to 0.1, we can see it just changes that little bit. So I, let's see what, uh, what works. So maybe 0.3, and I'm gonna save that. And then, what we need to do is make this higher. So um, let me see if I can get to that. I can't get to that row because it's, it's below the background. So let me come into this view and I will get the row because we know it's in the hero section. So I get the row and then we go into advanced and position. And this is zero, but the background video the background video is at zero and the opacity layer is at one. So it's not gonna work. So I need to put this higher than the opacity layer so it sits on top. So let's say I put this at two and then we should go back and now we can see the text is sitting on top. So now we can see if I change this, it shouldn't change the color of the text. It just changes the color of the background which means it's sitting above. So now we can see, I can see that row now because it's sitting at two, the opacity layer is sitting at one and then the video background is sitting at nothing. So then we can save that and we can just view it. And that's pretty much how you make a video background. Um, and we can see that it looks great here. And we can see that on mobile, it's sitting in the center and it, it's good enough. Um, 
it is a little bit harder to see, but it just depends on what your video is and how you're shooting it, etc., etc. But the opacity layer in the background is a, is a great idea for um, for putting text on top of on top of things, um, and then also remembering that you might want to put a fade to black at both ends because if you watch it in two seconds when it flips over, it's a bit jerky. So what I do is fade to fade to black on either end of the clip, so fade in and fade out. Uh, and then that seems to join together quite well. So that's how we create a video background in Divi with not too much trouble at all. All right, I'll see you in the next one.